Kingdom, I'm Chef Brian and I want to welcome you to the Sauce in the Second Video Sauce School. I've got a good one for you. Check this out. Okay, here we go. Very, very simple. We're going to start our seafood sauce. We're going to put in one cup of water. Very, very simple. And now we're going to add one quarter cup of regular old mayonnaise. Now, let me point this out to you real quick. If you want to use Miracle Whip, no problem at all. If you would like to use even a non-fat or low-fat yogurt, fine also. Okay, now we're going to add one tablespoon of the seafood powder. Okay, and we ignite our heat. And remember, we put all these ingredients in at room temperature, then we ignite our heat, and we'll start to whisk together. Now, we're going to bring all of this together slowly. We're going to incorporate all of the powder and the mayo, or the Miracle Whip if you're using that, or if you're using uh, a, uh, a plain yogurt, perfectly fine. It's going to have incredible flavor. So, we're going to whisk this together and get this going. Now, what we want to do here is uh, we want to get this going and get it all incorporated and then we want to bring this up to a boil. That's very, very important. What happens when you bring it up to a boil is we are going to have all that powder with all of those flavors burst and they're going to burst out and that's going to incorporate with the mayonnaise which incorporates with the water and it will start to reduce. Now that's the other thing. Don't get worried if your sauce looks very liquidy right now. It's not a big deal. As you can see around the ends, a little bit towards the ends, you can see it's starting to get into a nice simmer and it's starting to come to a boil slowly. But this is going to naturally reduce and it's going to thicken up into a beautiful white seafood sauce. Again, this is what we have been doing for years and years and years in gourmet kitchens and gourmet hotels uh, and gourmet restaurants all over the world. Uh, the only thing I have done to make it easy for you is that I have taken all of the ingredients, all of the stock and all of the time and I've put it into this powder for you. So all you have to do is add one or two ingredients, in this case just the mayonnaise, Miracle Whip or yogurt, the one cup of water and the powder and you're going to have the, I mean, exact sauce as we've been using in five-star restaurants all over the world. Okay, you can start seeing it coming to a boil. We've, uh, we're going to whisk it, get it all incorporated some more here. You want to make sure that you are always looking at this and, and, and making sure that you're paying attention to it as it's coming to a boil. Now it's at a rapid boil. So what we're going to do is we're now going to reduce the heat down to a simmer. Okay and we're gonna let this simmer for about three minutes and you can see it's it's really starting to come down just a little bit down to a simmer the, the the bubbles are starting to reduce down a little bit and that's exactly what we want we're gonna get it down to a simmer about for about three minutes and after about three minutes you're gonna notice it's going to get a little more yellowish in color as you can see here nice and thick now and, and very very yellow we're almost ready to take it to the plate as you can see here look how nice and velvety that is. That's exactly what we're looking for. This is what you see in restaurants all over the world and that's what we're looking for right here. So we're about ready to take it to the plate. We have prepared a nice flounder with uh, some diced tomato and peas and uh, this is a beautiful dinner, something you would probably pay $29, $30 for at a nice restaurant. We're going to take our sauce like we do in the back kitchen and we're just going to what we call nappe or ladle over the top of the fish and the peas. Ah incredible you can make this at home I promise you that's what I want to do I want to take your cooking skills to another level here at sauce in a second dot com cooking videos 101 this is chef Brian eat well people